In order to make our Christmas cupcakes, I've got three medium eggs beaten, 175 grams of soft margarine, 175 grams of caster sugar and 175 grams of self-raising flour. Also, um, you will need a teaspoon of vanilla essence. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is mix the sugar. So if you want to pull the sugar in, Nakaya, into the mixing bowl. Do you want to scrape that out from the butter? Manage, can you hold the bowl? And we need to get those mixed. Want to so the next thing you need to do is pour the flour into the sift. Just return it back to the mixing bowl. What we forgot to mention was that we had actually put the oven on. The oven's on at 180 degrees. Um, that was the first thing that we actually did. So what we're going to do now is put the cupcake cases into the tray. So if you can do that for me please, Nakaya. Oh. Are you watching? What do you want? We don't want the cakes to over rise because we're going to be decorating the top. So we're not going to fill them all the way to the top, okay? No, because when we put them in the oven, they go bigger and bigger they and bigger. Do. make the butter icing so what we've got in here is 100 grams of soft margarine so if you want to switch that on for me please add 350 grams of icing sugar so I'm just going to sift that in okay so just keep sifting that and smell cakes yeah mm, I can smell them they're almost done We're just going to add a yeah. teaspoon of vanilla essence. Do you want to pull that in for me, Bobby? Yep. Yeah. Thank you. The next thing we're going to do is add the food colour into the mixture. And it's going to be green. And it's going to be Christmas tree green. So what I do is use a cocktail stick. Food colouring is called sugar flour. I got it from my local um, cake creation store. So yeah, just going to dip that into the mixture and then we'll see how green we get. The next thing we're going to do is use the pipe bag and a nozzle to start our icing. Um, this nozzle is Gem 2G, so we'll just run it down the bag. Okay, so what we've done is we've filled our piping bag with the icing and just pushed it down. It's quite handy to use a cup. Um, to rest the piping bag in just so that 
and the residue will go into the cup and maybe we can use that later. Um, often it's too runny and you can tell and obviously you can scrape that bit that's in the cup back into the main bowl and add more icing sugar but I think this is fine and we're ready to go. Yeah. So our cakes are done. So I will just start from the outside of the cake. In fact I like to hold the cake in my hand as I go. You're right, the cake smells so good. I'll take my time and work my way up. Just like up to the go. What's it called? What's the highest mountain called? Ever Everest. Everest. <laughs> Is that what it looks like? Yeah. So I, I wish I could like go up to that over there. Well, Everest. Up to where Mount Everest is. Yeah. So what I'm doing is carefully going around the outside, overlapping as I work in. And then when I get to the top spine, we're just pulling off. So that's going to form the top of our tree. And what's going to go on the top of our tree? Star! A star, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to decorate our trees. We've got these holly and berry sprinkles. Oh yeah, 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 so I thought it'd be quite nice if we just use the red ones. What are those called, do you remember? The ivy. You have to work with it quite quickly because it does, the cakes do start to dry. <laughs> Delicious, Nakaya. Are you happy with those? You bet I am. I'm sure your friends are going to love them tomorrow. So I hope you've liked this video today. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up, share and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time. Bye.